We did our project on disassociative identity disorder and the movie Split. So what is DID? DID is a subset of PTSD, and when someone goes through trauma, they might have a new personality to cope with that trauma. DID used to be called multiple personality disorder. In some cases, the identities are complete, each with its own behavior, tone of voice, and mannerisms. But in most cases, only a few characteristics are distinct because the identities are only par partially independent. So it's not true that they are multiple complete personalities. The host, the main personality, went through trauma at a young age, usually the age before nine. And the trauma they experience is most commonly sexually or physical abuse. After the, uh, that age, it, it usually turns into PTSD. Someone with DID can experience many different alters or different personalities from the original. It is averaged out to be about 15 different alters. Women are more commonly common to have uh, DID, but this is because they are most likely to be sexually assaulted. Uh, there have been instances where treatment has investigated the personality um, by having the patient relive the scenario by hypnosis and they learn to cope with it. Uh, shock therapy and antidepressants have also been shown to help as well. The movie Split came out in 2016. It is written, directed, and produced by M. Night Shyamalan. It stars James McAvoy as a man named Kend Kevin Wendell Crumb. Uh, Anya Taylor-Joy is Casey Cook and Betty Buckley as Karen Fletcher. Crumb has 23 different personalities, often referred to, referred to as the Horde. Each of the personalities has a distinct appearance, attitude, interests, and motives. To explain which personalities is, char is in charge at any given time, the character uses in a metaphor to explain. All 23 personalities sit in chairs on an imaginary stage in Crumb's mind. In the center, there is a spotlight. Whatever personality is standing in the spotlight will have control over the body. There are three bad personalities trying to take control of the others and summon the beast. Uh, the names are Dennis, Miss Patricia, and Hedwig. Dennis is the first personality seen in the movie when he kidnaps Cook and the other two girls. He keeps the girls in line and he has OCD. Miss, Patri Miss Patricia is an elderly woman who acts as a calm and polite motherly figure towards the captive girls. Hedwig is a na naive nine-year-old boy who speaks with a lisp. He can take over the spotlight whenever he wants to keep the other friendlier personalities out. Barry is the only friendly personality mainly featured in the film. Uh, he regularly visits Dr. Fletcher to help control the DID. Uh, Kevin is the real personality seen only briefly at the end of the movie when Cook uses his real name to call him to the spotlight. He seems confused as to what is happening and does not know what year it is. While the other personalities take over the spotlight, Crumb has no awareness of their actions. Towards the end of the movie, the 24th personality emerges called the Beast. This personality uh, physically alters Crumb's body and displays superhuman abilities such as increased strength, speed, and agility. Uh, the movie follows uh, Cook as she tries to escape with the other two girls while Crumb's bad personalities try to keep them locked as, up as a sacrifice for the beast. Crumb's personalities have hidden them in an underground portion of the zoo uh, that he works at. Cook quickly realizes that Crumb has DID and tries to work with the other different personalities to her advantage. For instance, she treats Hedwig like a friend in order to learn more about the facility to escape. So as we've talked about previously in this video, uh, Split talks about a person with uh, DID and it shows each of the identities with different um, and unique uh, characteristics. So the movie is accurate uh, in the fact that the different alters or identities uh, speak differently, have different likes, dislikes, uh, and even one having things like OCD. So for example, um, there are multiple uh, personalities that it really, the movie really focuses on. Um, one being Barry, who is the person that most often visits the therapist. Um, he's a person who loves art, fashion, and is uh, very protective over his designs uh, and is an extrovert. So um, another person that is in the office is with the therapist in um, a couple of the scenes is Dennis. And we know that Dennis is in the office with her rather than Barry because he has OCD and he is in the office changing small uh, things around the office, like moving the candy bowl. And so that's when the therapist realizes that it's actually Dennis and not Barry in the office. Um, another key indicator that it is uh, not Barry is that, as I said, Barry's very protective of his designs. And when he goes to leave, the designs are left behind and she has to mention that to him. 
So uh, that's how you notice that it's not uh, Barry and that it is actually Dennis. So another uh, identity that is shown in it is Patricia, which is an older lady and is a perfectionist and gets upset when the she cuts the sandwich wrong and slams down the knife and has to completely start over making the sandwich. So these types of things are accurate because um, in the literature, in the studies, uh, it has been shown that these types of things are common uh, with people with DID. Um, another personality is Hedwig, who is a nine-year-old boy, and uh, he's things like likes Kanye West, he likes uh, dancing around, um, and he has a lisp, and walks kind of crouched over and likes drawing and things like that which is shown when he goes into the room with the girls who have been captured and takes one of them into his room, which shows uh, childlike drawings and things like that, which it has been shown to be uh, true. Now, something that the movie doesn't accurately portray is the 24th personality, which is uh, referred to as the beast. Now, this personality um, is shown in the movie to be climbing walls with his fingertips, um, up like the side of walls on the ceilings, um, runs extremely fast and bends metal bars uh, with his bare hands and is a carnivore in the movie shown eating people. So um, obviously this is not accurate of people with DID. Um, this is people with superhuman, showing people with superhuman abilities is not accurate. Although it has been shown in some case studies that some per, uh, of those identities or alters in people do have higher uh, strength abilities than others, but for the most part, the beast part of it is inaccurate. I will be going over an interview that we found online of a professor who's an abnormal psychology professor named Dr. Richard Day. So a few questions that were asked to Dr. Day were, can you speak to other alters? So in the movie, it showed two different alters, Dr. Mr. Dennis and Miss Patricia going back and forth, talking to each other. And the students asked if you could do this in person, could different alters talk to each other and switch back and forth really simultaneously. And Dr. Day said he had never seen that before. It hadn't been in any case studies, but he, um, he thinks that this could have been um, used as creative license in the movie. So this is probably not realistic that would happen in real life for a DID patient. Um, but yes, you can call forth different alters. So in the movie, in therapy, uh, the therapist asks, can I speak to Dennis? And Dennis would come forward if he wanted to. Um, however, this is not really accurate in a real life scenario. So if a patient was talking to someone and they were asked to bring forth Bob. Can I bring forth Bob? Um, this would, unless the patient wanted to, they wouldn't happen like this. Um, but this can happen under hypnosis. So can different um, alters have different personalities? Yes. They can be male, they can be female, and they can also be animals. So there are recorded cases of bears, lions, and tigers all being different alters. Um, and also, could the alters be different ages? Um, this is also very, very common. So DID is an diagnosed until adult here, so it wouldn't be diagnosed in children. Um, however, at least a few alters are children. So studies have shown that the different personalities are manifested in different alters, so different memories are found in different children personality alters. Um, and so another question was asked, can the different alters differ physiologically? The answer is yes. So uh, a case study that Dr. Day uh, used as an example was vision. So there was a completely blind person who had dissociative identity disorder. He would come into therapy with a seeing eye dog and a cane and couldn't see at all. But then one day the therapist, through suggestion, asked him if he could see something and he could see um, just a word on a page. And throughout therapy, the therapist would continue to suggest to see if he could read and eventually um, over time he this specific alter he was a teenage boy he regained his entire eyesight and so you could be thinking um, okay the rest of them are just faking blindness um, this is not the case they ran different visual cortex tests and so when you see a visual stimulus there's a stimulus that goes off in your brain and so they put they tested this and so the teenage boy alter he had a blip on the screen when he saw a visual stimulus however the alters that didn't have any visual um they couldn't see at all they did not have any blips 
So they tested the host, the seeing altar, and the unseeing altar, and only the one with the eyesight was able to um, have a blip on the screen and the others were completely blind, just like it was said. Um, and so he predicted that eventually all altars will regain their eyesight. And it is also really common for altars to be protective over their host. Um, the protective altars are commonly animals, the bears, the tigers, and the lions. Um, and then a big question people have are DID patients violent? Um, the answer is overall no. These patients are usually very vulnerable and they retreat into themselves because they're ashamed of their disability and they don't want others to know they, that they have it um, because they have all these bad memories and they don't want people to know. Um, so DID patients are not violent and this movie does depict them very violently so this is a common misconception that the movie split portrays um, and this is very negative and the DID community is not violent at all. Thank you.